So in this short video, we're going to talk about technology, what tools you need to run an automated online business. Now, does any of these sound familiar to you? I'm not a techie person. I don't have the technical skills for this and I'm already based in the province. IT management side of online business, how to put website, build customer, collect, and send a product, example, ebooks through online, etc. Now, I'm with you. Technology might be my weakest link when it comes to online business, but I managed to make it work. Because as time passes, technology becomes easier and easier to use, even for non-tech. So before, I get confused with web hosting, domain name, WordPress, how, how are they related and how do I put them together? So you're in luck because I put together the common tools to run an online business. So they are the web host, the domain name, the blog, the theme, and an X factor. This X factor is my favorite tool of them all. That even if you remove my web host, domain, blog, or theme, just leave me with this and I'll survive. I'll tell you more about it later on. So I'm going to explain to you in a simple way, a simple analogy to be exact. So here, for example, think of a house. A house stands on a lot, on a property. So your web host is that land where the house is built. Okay, so why is web host important? Because the web hosting controls two things. First is the speed by which your website loads. Normally, when a person arrives at your website, it takes them not more than five seconds to decide whether or not to stay or go. And if your website loads very slowly, chances are they're gonna go. Second is reliability. Now maybe you're excited to publish your blog post, right? You invited a lot of people to read your article, but then your site is down. You wasted a lot of traffic and opportunity. So that's why getting a quality web host is very important. So who do I recommend? Well, I recommend a couple of them. One is SiteGround and next is Bluehost. You can check on the URLs to learn more about them. So next is the domain name. So this is the address. Once you have your blog or website up, this is how people find them. For example, this is Facebook.com, HuffingtonPost.com, or Forbes.com. So that's what the domain name is. You could get your domain name from the web host, or you could get them from Namecheap.com or GoDaddy.com. Okay, so now we have the property, we have the address, we have to have the house. That's where the blog comes in. So this is basically the framework of your house, okay? So this is where you could publish your blog posts, your podcast, your webinar replay page, sales page, so on and so forth. And this is where WordPress comes in. So, so basically, WordPress is your house in a nutshell. So the next thing we're going to discuss is the theme. So we don't want our house to look like everyone else's, right? So we want to have a theme. Basically, this is the appearance of your website. So if a contractor will build your house that's WordPress, the theme is the interior designer to make your website look pretty or consistent with your brand. So what I would suggest for you is to get it from Optimize Press. The reason I highly recommend Optimize Press is that on top of being a theme, which makes your site look pretty, it's also a landing page creator. Meaning you could create squeeze pages, sales pages, webinar pages, podcast pages, ebook sales pages right from Optimize Press. You don't have to buy a separate landing page builder to do that. So it's an all-in-one solution that saves you a ton of money. Last thing, X Factor. So, so the house could be pretty, right? It could be located in a prime area, but if the host is not welcoming, no one would like to go there, right? So my X Factor is human connection. So what tool can make this happen? For me, that's email marketing. Because through email marketing, that's where I build relationships with my readers. Through know, like, and trust. You've probably heard that before. So they would know more about me, I would share my story, then I could contribute to their needs. And through back and forth over a period of time, trust is built. And for you, as a blog owner, a website owner, having your reader's trust is essential. So when the time comes that you have a product to offer, a service to offer them, they'd be more willing to transact with you. Because who wants to transact with people they don't trust? So who are the providers for email marketing? Personally, I recommend ActiveCampaign and Aweber. Right, so you could check out those links to learn more about them. So that's it. That's my five most common tools for running an online business. So I hope it made technology easier for you. If you want to get a list of my recommendations in one page, just click on the button or link below to get directed to that page. Now technology changes over time, so that page may not contain the same tools that I recommended here. That page will reflect the most updated recommendations I have for you. 
So thank you very much for listening. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at alan at digitalsolopreneur.com. Thank you very much.